Hello guys, once again welcome back to Darkool VFX Studio. In this video we are talking about how to color grade a scene like this. For that, I added a video to our timeline, then go to color page. Here, we can use several methods. The first method is not good enough for me. Also, second method is only available in paid version. But you can practice these two methods. If you get a good result, then go ahead. Otherwise, you can go to the third option. That's give me a good result. The first method is Using curve, we can change the color from green to blue. For that, I used hue versus hue inside the curve option. Here, you can pick this color and move the middle point little bit downwards. Now, you get a green or a blue color. But I am not satisfied with this idea. Because the shadow section have some more green patches. But you can try this method. Is that successful? Then go ahead. Otherwise, we can go to the second option. That is magic mask. So, we can go to the magic mask section. For that, click this icon and go to the viewer. Here we can select which object we want. In older version of DaVinci Resolve, you can draw a path inside the object. After that, go to the node section and right click here and choose the option add alpha output. Now, draw a pipeline from this blue color to the alpha output. That's also seen in blue color. Now, we can see the result like this. Now, back to the magic mask and choose the option better. Now, you can see the beach is separated from the sea. After that, you can add a parallel node by using option P or alt P. Or you can right click here and choose the option add node, add parallel node. Now, we don't need that alpha output so we can disconnect it from output and click on the first node then back the magic mask and choose the option invert because we need to color grade the C not the beach. Now go to the offset of the primary wheel and adjust the color like this. I'm okay with that but there is a problem. The magic mask option is only available in paid version that is studio version. But we need to color grade this in free version. For that I use the next method. Also, I am so satisfied with this option. So, we can go to the video. Once again, welcome back to Darkpool VFX Studio. First, we can go to the node section and select all these nodes and delete that. After that, add a serial node by clicking Alt S or Option S. You don't need to do this because you get a workflow with a node. Okay? Now, click on the node and go to this window option. Here, we can scroll down and select the option Gradient. Okay? Click that. Now go to the viewer. Here you can see an arrow is appear. Place the arrow downwards from the C. Now we can right click on this node and choose the option node label. Here we can give a name C window. After that right click once more on the node and choose the option add node. Here we can choose the option add parallel. Also you can use the shortcut alt P or option P. Now we can connect the alpha output to the second node. Now click on the second node and come here. Here you can see an option key. Click that and choose the option invert. Now right click on the node and choose the option node label. Here we can give a name beach or sand. Here you can also use an outside node instead the parallel node. I am not going to the confusion so we can leave that. Now click on the first node and add a serial node by clicking Alt S or Option S. Ok. After that, we can connect the alpha output to the third node. Here, we can right click and add a node label SAT. That means saturation. Now, click on the saturation node and come to primary wheels. Here, you can see an option saturation. Now, click on the value and drag to right side. Now, you can see the saturation is increasing. Also, you can see the saturation is only applied on the C, not in the sand. Because we connected the alpha output from the first node to the third node. Otherwise, you can see the saturation is applied all over the video. So, we should connect the alpha output to the saturation. Okay? Here, you can see the difference. After that, click on the beach node, that is second node. Here, we need to add a serial node by right clicking and choose the option add serial or use the shortcut Alt S or Option S. In that, we can add a label Saturation of Beach. 
Now connect the alpha output from the beach to the saturation of beach. Okay. After that, go to the primary wheels and here you can adjust the saturation. It's only applied on the beach. Here I'm choose a value 65. I think that is enough. Now back to the node section and select the node C window. Go to primary color wheels. Here we can adjust the gamma. Change it to blue color. Choose this color or you can choose this color too. Choose which color you like. After that go to the node section and click on the merge. After that add a serial node. In this serial node we can color get this video. For that click the node and come to primary wheels. Here I am going to change the offset. Also back to the C window and change the gamma color a little bit bluish. Now you can see the before and after. After that I added one more serial node. In this serial node we can adjust the highlights, shadows, also you can reduce the saturation or increase the saturation. Back to the offset node, also you can change the offset like this or this, this or like this. That's all. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. See you in next time.